Hey, what's going on everyone? In this episode, we're going to be talking about some of these different options on this text category of the palette. Now, you can just get in any activity. There's no prerequisite content. You can just drag some stuff to the screen and start playing around with it. I do have here a, a plain text that I, I drag to the screen or drug, however you would say that. I don't know. And it's cool. It works. It does its job. But one of the things I wanted was to be able to type and it would go down to the next line as if you're writing a larger message or an email or something. And I actually found there's this option here, multi-line text. So you can drag that to the screen. You can anchor that real quick. And it, it seems to do the trick pretty well. Uh, but is there really anything different between these two? Because if you look down here on the component tree, you can see that they're actually both of type edit text. So what is going on here? Why do we have all these options if they're both edit text and how do you differentiate the two? Well, it actually comes down to this input type attribute. And you can see there's a bunch of different options on here. One of which is this, in this case, we just have this text person name here, which when you check that, it checks text and text email address and text short message. So in other words, we can combine various selections here to customize the input. So let's take a look at this one. When we go to this one and we go to input type, we have text multi-line. So that allows it to work across multiple lines. So the difference between a lot of these text options on this palette is that we just have different customizations for the, the type for the input type. Now, this isn't the case for everything. For example, we have one of these is the, the multi autocomplete text view as well as the autocomplete text view. So we can drag one of these to the screen and I will anchor this to the bottom. Cool. Now let's run this and just, just take a look at what we get. And you can see over here on the left, the autocomplete text view is actually a different type. So that is not just a customization of the, the plain text. It's its own entity. So taking a look at our application, we can try out these new ways of typing. So this one, we can type in some stuff here. And look at that. It goes down to the next line. That's different than this one where it just scrolls forever. So if you want to get rid of the keyboard, you can hit this little arrow down here at the bottom. And then we have the autocomplete text view, which works pretty much the same exact way. So you can put stuff in here <laughs> and you can fill up, fill up the page. Now this one also does that though, because I can go in here and, and autofill this. So I'm not entirely sure the value of this autocomplete text view, because it seems that this one does it by default, and maybe that's something that's dependent on the the Android operating system or, or the phone you're on, I'm not entirely sure. But just so you know, that is a thing that exists. Um, so those are some of the different things you can do to customize the, the text inputs. So when we want to create a way to create a message, what you can do is you can go format this thing to fill up more of the screen, and then it'll scroll down to the next line. Uh, and my only request for you guys is I want you to autofill one of these things and I want you to copy and paste the message as a comment just to see the, the wild uh, things that pop up. And make sure you don't put any context. Just post it in there. That way YouTube looks at it and it's like the algorithm's totally confused with the conversations going on in the comment section. So that'll be fun. So do that and start playing around with some of these different options in the palette and look through the different options in the input type. For example, there's password. So it looks like there's a search, which is nice. Uh, password didn't show up. So let's, let's see what password has selected. If we drag password in here, it has, okay, text password. So yeah, that, that's how you do that. So if you want the password, you can select that one and there's all kinds of other options on here. So you can get exactly what you need. So I know it's kind of simple, but just wanted to share that with you guys and check out the next episode. See ya.